I know you're upset, Stinky, but I'm a, I, there's nothing I can do about it, dear. Sometimes these things just happen. What's that? He was your best friend? Yes, I know he was. It's going to be all right, all right? Oh, it's the poppets. Hello, my little poppets, mums and dads, and welcome back to story time once again. Well, we've got a very upset mouse here today, I'm afraid. So we've had some rather... Uh, something terrible happened. Well, I'm going to have. To, can I tell the poppets dear what's happened? I can. Yes. All right then. It's going to be all right, Stinky. Stinky has a pet. Well, I should say he did have a pet, Prey Mantis, and we've had him for quite a while. He was in a tank with some um, leaves and some branches and some other things, and he seemed to be doing quite well in there. And actually, his name was Stinky Junior. That's what Stinky called him. And Stinky absolutely loved his prey mantis. Absolutely loved him to bits. He used to talk to him, and uh, he just loved him. He had him in his room in a tank. And when he went to check on him this morning, unfortunately, uh, we found him lying on the bottom of the tank so um, I'm afraid uh, he did uh, he died his uh, stinky's pet prey mantis has died unfortunately and I don't know why um, but sometimes stinky things like that just happen dear and now we I do have him here so just a warning for mums and dads for those uh, poppets that may be a little bit sensitive you might want to um, usher them out of the room just for a moment if they are particularly sensitive but um, here he is here now I'm going to hold him up so you can see yes poor fellow that he is yes I'll be very gentle stinky and I'll hold him up there if you can see um, he's very very delicate indeed and unfortunately he did pass away which is very very sad very very sad indeed so yes I don't know I thought perhaps we could have a funeral for Stinky Junior um, and we could bury him outside in the garden what's that you think that silly idea well what would you suggest that we do with him then just lie him on the grass and let nature take its course well, all right then, I thought you might like to bury uh, Stinky Junior and have a funeral, but if you don't want to do that, then all right, we'll perhaps just lie him on the grass. Well, getting off that rather somber uh, topic, today's story, my dear poppets and mums and dads, is not about a prey mantis or uh, anything else like that, but it's called Little Al's Egg. And this does look like a very cheerful book, I have to say. And I think this just may be the ticket to cheer Stinky up. Now, do you think you'll be all right for the story, dear? You do? Yes, all right. Well, I think a story perhaps is just what you need and it might take your mind off things, all right then? Yes, good boy. Well, it does look like a good one, I have to say. Little Owl's Egg. A very, very good one indeed. Yes, I like the look of this one. I think it's just what Stinky needs, my dear poppers. And here we go. Little Owl's mummy had some very exciting news. She had laid a beautiful egg, Stinky. Guess what, said Little Owl's mummy. We're having a new baby owl. Well, that is very exciting. And there's mummy owl there with the little owl and of course the brand new egg. How exciting. Very, very exciting indeed. Oh yes, and a wonderful nest. Very, very exciting. I wonder how long it will take for the egg to hatch. I just don't know. No, said Little Owl. No, no, no. No, said Mummy. No, said Little Owl. I'm your baby owl. You don't need a new one. Mummy Owl blinked. Silly me, she said. You're right. Besides, the egg is far too quiet to be a baby owl. Well, the little owl there is not very happy about having another, uh, having a baby owl around. Not very happy at all. Perhaps he wishes something else would hatch out of the egg. Imagine that. 
Yes, imagine if another creature hopped, came out of the egg. That would be very, very funny indeed. Perhaps it's a baby worm. Oh, a baby worm. They're so silent and undemanding. Just a ball of earth from time to time. Wouldn't that be lovely, Stinky? Yes, well, you wouldn't have to do much for a baby worm. Perhaps just give him some fresh soil in his little bowl and he would be happy with that. How silly would that be if the egg hatched and there was a baby worm inside? Very, very silly indeed. Oh yes, very funny. No, said little owl. No, no, no. Not a wiggly worm, stinky. Ooh, yes. What's that? You think that would be very funny if a worm hatched out of the egg? Yes, I think it would be as well. We'll turn it around so the poppets can see at home. Imagine that, my dear poppets, if a worm hatched out of the egg. How funny would that be? Yes, it most certainly would. Mummy Owl smiled. No, she said, you're right, it doesn't wiggle. Perhaps it's a pretend egg made of chocolate. Oh, yum. Wouldn't that be good? No, sighed little owl. Chocolate eggs are no fun. They don't know how to play and they melt if you hug them. Mummy Owl prodded the egg. You're right, little owl. The egg is far too cold to be made of chocolate. Poor egg, feel it. It's freezing stinky. I wonder if we're having a baby penguin. Heavens, we'd better go catch some fish for its dinner. Well, there's Mummy Owl there giving the egg a funny look because she's imagining a baby penguin hatching out of the egg there. Imagine that, an owl with a baby penguin. And they would have to go and catch that baby penguin some fish. Yes, and they'd have to get some ice as well because penguins love ice. No, squeak little owl, not a penguin, fish, yuck. Yes, well, there's little owl there and he thinks it would be terrible if a penguin hatched out of the egg because of course the owl, little owl there, does not like fish. Oh dear, well I wonder what will hatch out of the egg. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Mummy Owl patted the egg. What a silly mummy. Penguin eggs are warm. It's a crocodile eggs that are chilly. That's it, we're having a baby crocodile. I wonder what they eat, Stinky. Well, there's Mummy Owl there, patting the egg. And now perhaps she's thinking it might be a baby crocodile. Maybe there's a baby crocodile hidden away inside the egg. Yes, fancy that, a baby crocodile with lots of sharp teeth. I don't think that would be very good. Little owls grew wide. No, 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 he whispered, not a crocodile. Probably not, whispered Mummy. Besides, it's a huge egg, far too big to be a crocodile. Perhaps it's a... And there's Mummy Owl there, and imagining what would happen if a baby crocodile hatched out of the egg. Yes, I think she'd be very, very worried if a crocodile came out of that egg. Very worried, indeed. Elephant, yelled little owl. Oh, an elephant. That would be amazing. We could have the best water fights. Yes, I suppose you could, Stinky. No, said Mummy. No, no, no. Think of our nest. That would be a catastrophe, says Mummy Owl. Yes, I suppose it would, because a baby elephant would be far too big to be in a nest built for owls. No, the elephant would squash the nest, just no good at all. Far too big. Yes, not a baby elephant. No, you're right, said little owl. Besides, elephants can't fly, but dragons can. Ooh, I hope it's a dragon egg, Stinky. Heaven forbid, squeak mummy. No, no, no. But it's a very splendid egg, said little owl. It must have something very special, Stinky, inside. Yes, well imagine that, my little poppets. Perhaps it is a dragon egg, and a dragon is going to hatch out. That would be a wonderful surprise. 
if it was a dragon's egg. Yes, wonderful indeed. Perhaps it's a baby princess wormy chalk penguin crocophant drag owl. Hmm, I've heard of that, but they only eat very special food. Eight-legged snort beans, green gloopy gargle tuber stinky. Well, imagine if all those animals were combined and that pink fellow there, that's what it would look like if you combined all those animals into one. You'd have a very, very funny creature indeed that liked very, very strange foods. No, I somehow don't think that would be very good at all. No. Sounds awful, grown mummy. Yes, it does. Did you know, continued little owl, a little owl just like me would be much more fun than a baby princess, wormy, choco, penguin, crocker, fun, drag owl. Yes, said mummy, we'd love a baby owl much more than a baby anything else. And I think they would. I think another baby owl would just be the ticket. And let's hope that that's what hatches out of the egg. A baby owl. Yes, I certainly hope so. Little Owl put his wings around the egg and gave it a hug. Inside, a tiny heart would beat steadily. Thud, thud, thud. When will our egg be ready, said Little Owl. Soon, said Mummy. And there's Little Owl giving that egg a great big hug and he can hear a heartbeat beating away inside the egg. And of course, that baby owl will hatch when it's ready. Very, very exciting indeed. If it's a new little owl, then I'll be a new big owl, said little owl. Yes, said mummy, you'll be my new big owl and I'll love you always, always, said little owl. Well, there's mummy owl giving her little boy a big hug. A lovely big hug and there's nothing like a hug. Cuddles are wonderful. So it'll be very, very exciting when that egg hatches. Always, said Mummy. And there they are, the two of them sitting there together. Very, very cute indeed. The end. And that was called Little Owl's Egg. A very, very sweet story, I have to say. And I did enjoy reading that, Stinky, very, very much. Yes, I most certainly did. Now, Stinky, are you feeling a little bit better now? You're still a little bit sad. Yes, I know, but unfortunately, Stinky, sometimes these things happen, but you'll be all right. All right then? Yes, good boy. Well, my dear, dear poppets, mums and dads, we have come to the end of story time once again. Perhaps you could read a book about a baby owl, or perhaps you could pretend to be an owl with great big owl eyes. And as always, my dear ones, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.